We're going to yes. talk about Martha Stewart because oh. we know that she wants us to make our homes look nice, but she said that she doesn't want people to work from home. Take a listen. And I cannot really stomach another Zoom, you yeah. know, Zoom here, Zoom there. Uh, it just doesn't get the work done in the right way. I hate going to an office that's empty. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to. Our office is on a three-day work week, uh -huh. and, and I just don't agree with it. A three-day work week doesn't get the work done, doesn't get the productivity uh, up. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't help with the economy. Hillary, do you agree with Martha there? Do you think that remote working really does cut productivity? Well, I don't normally go into my personal opinions here, Sarah, but I will say this. I think there are pros and cons. For example, like right now, I'm not in your studio. Love to be with you and Michael, but I'm going to be teeing off soon. It enables me to do this. I run a consulting firm and I'm coaching executives in Chicago and in Dallas and it enables me certainly to be very productive because I can coach people instead of being on airplanes and driving into an office. I think many people feel like that, particularly people with young families. They can see more of their children. When I was a young mother, I would have loved to have seen my children a little bit more. So I think there are pros and cons. What I do agree with her about is the productivity numbers in the US. They are down. What her exact reference actually, she declared that she was on this rampage and she actually, and I hope the people in France don't take too much of an umbrage about this, she was talking about the lack of productivity in France and she specifically pointed to all of August being taken off by many French. Well, of course, we all know many French work in the retail industry and, of course, in the hosting industry for tourism during August. But I lived in Europe. I lived in Holland. The global headquarters of KPMG were in Amsterdam, and my first child was born there. I will tell you this. When the Dutch relatives I had at the time were saying to me in June, you do know you need to buy your stroller and you need to buy your cot and everything else because all the shops will be closed in August because he was born at the end of August. I was aghast. So there are many different reasons that Europe does shut down in the summer. So she has part of it is right. The other part is I don't think America anytime soon is going to become like France. And I think there are pros and cons. I just want to add before we brought up France and Martha brought up France as well. I used to work at another network. It was an international language and we had a French channel. And we would be so upset every August when every <laughs> French person would just walk out the door yes, and say, so. see, ya, we're not making news for a month. That's and it. We would Everything be, shuts down. The English, but, people speaking in English would continue. Yeah, I want to... I that's why we end. say bon voyage. Bon voyage. Exactly. <laughs> I want to add just one thing to it. When, when people don't come into the office, and I've seen this here in, in major cities from Chicago, New York, Miami, it doesn't really matter. When they don't come into the office, you don't realize how many small businesses rely on that. So just the little street yes. vendors, guys, you know, the guy in the morning that sells coffee, donuts, and bagels. Yes. You know, when, when it's down Ripple to a three-day work Ripple week, effect. they don't usually work weekends. So they're working off a five-day week. Now it's been cut by two days. They can't survive. So it really does affect overall productivity for all major cities and so on. So it I, does. I, 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 and then, I've Michael, noticed if I could add myself. one point to that, you're talking about, of course, that ripple effect that isn't happening as much. One of the issues in this, and I've read many surveys now on this, one of the issues of people who don't want to return to the office, it's the crime, Michael. So New York City, Chicago, San Francisco, they're suffering the most because of the high crime rate. People would rather be safer in their homes in the suburbs. That's true. Really interesting point. And, and it also brings up if you have less people coming into the office, most companies will 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 create a smaller workspace. So now you have a lot of open, empty office buildings. So it, it's yes. it's a, it's a cycle that kind of just feeds off itself, and then there's a little bit of blight. 